Hi, welcome. Don Ross here from Don Ross Therapeutic Yoga. What I've got for you today is a quick little movement that focuses on dorsiflexion of the ankle and it's a great uh, tension reliever for the legs actually. Um, and so after a long car ride or a plane ride or just a period of sitting, this can be a great way to just get energy and blood flow and lymph flow happening in the legs again. Also an important movement for a lot of our yoga asana with the flexion required at the ankle and then also just doing things like hiking or um, cross country and downhill skiing. So uh, what you're going to need is a wall and then either with socks on or if you have a small hand towel that works great. So the easiest way to get legs up the wall I find is if you sit with your hip next to the wall and then as you lay down the legs swing up. So and the distance of your backside from the wall is really uh, individual. So you want to be in a position that the, the pelvis and the flesh of the buttocks can be relaxed onto the floor and that the spine, uh, pubic bone, tailbone up to the top of the head is relaxed and easy there, okay? So it's not um, about feeling a stretch in the hamstring necessarily. Okay, although once you get into position you might. But the object isn't to have the butt right up to the wall because we want to have some um, suppleness down that line, uh, the back line of the body. So once you're in with the legs up, just take a few breaths here and allow the way the legs simply to settle into the hip sockets. And you'll want to notice if the um, knees are hyperextended at all or like you're falling to the knee joint and if there's a sense that you are just have a little micro bend into the knees you can imagine that both those legs are full of sand and that with each exhale That sand is running from the feet to the calves and shins, to the knees, up into the thighs and the hips. And if over the course of three to five breaths, there isn't a sense of your breath and your tissue kind of relaxing and letting go or softening and settling. You'll want to change the position. Or also, um, if once you get down onto your back, there is a, um, a, a, a height at the chin that's more than the nose, you may want to bring a, a blanket and, or a block underneath the pelvis to support it to bring more congruency between um, the chin and the nose. Okay, so sometimes you might think that you want to prop the head, but start with the start with the pelvis. So once you're here and settled, you'll just start to flex and relax the ankles. And what you want to notice here is that um, with the movement of the ankle that it's it's not a movement of the knee so there isn't a bending and straightening of the knee happening and that there's a relaxedness to the forefoot so we don't want to have the forefoot kind of running the show so find where the forefoot can come for a ride but the movements focused at the top of the foot near the ankle bringing that point towards the lower leg, okay? And the heels just slide up and down. And as you do this, you just want to check and make sure that the pelvis isn't lifting and lowering at all. The bum isn't getting grippy. The belly's not getting grippy. Breath can remain easy. And you might even bring your fingers to the front of your hip crease and check to make sure that the hip flexors aren't firing 
trying to help that ankle move. And it's really quite fascinating how fatiguing this movement can be when we get quiet and dial it into actually the movement being focused at the ankle. spend a, a good couple of minutes just dialing in finding the just enough so not so much that the knees or the forefoot or the hip flexors are getting involved or the pelvis is moving and not so little that it feels like there isn't any movement happening at the ankle at all come to rest. Take a few breaths or a few moments simply to notice the energy of the legs and how that is. You might even look and see that they're laying hip to knee to ankle to foot a little bit differently. Um, than they were at the start, and also notice your shoulders and your ribs and your breath. Um, this is an area too that sometimes as you're moving the ankle, we can actually start to hold the breath. So you want to just make sure that that breath is allowed to remain easy and free as you're doing the movement with the ankles. So yeah, get down on your mat, have fun, play with that one. Let me know what you notice by sending me an email to yogadon at shaw.ca or um, sending me a message through my website www.donross.ca. Thanks so much for joining me. As always, know that with ease, change is always possible and life changing. Namaste.